Hello and welcome to this week's Glass Tire Top 5. It is the week of May 31st, 2018. I'm Brandon Zek. I'm Christina Reese. So number 5 this week is Shelby David Meyer uh, at the Culture Hall, which is inside the power station in Dallas, Texas. Shelby David Meyer is one of my favorite young artists in Dallas, in Texas generally, and has been since he was an undergrad. He's, he's graduated uh, now with an MFA, but um, it's called Omelet Bar intentionally misspelled he's very clever with text but it's there's going to be an omelet bar inside the culture hall if you don't know what the culture hall is it's this very strange small awkward purpose built though for what purpose we don't know hole in the ground inside the power station it's concrete um and they there's a series of shows in this inside this hole curated by gregory rupp and jeff gibbons Two other artists who live and work in Dallas. Shelby's great. I think this will be funny. I think they're making omelets for people at 10 o'clock on a Sunday morning. There's an ingredient list that's part of the press release. You know, cheese, green onion, ham, mushroom, bacon, tomato, bell pepper, jalapeno, spinach, red onion, and for drinks, there's coffee and mimosas. Well, there you and go. This sounds like a good Sunday morning. This is shaping up to be an ideal Sunday morning. Uh, in Dallas, and he, I think there will be an omelet chef down in the hole. I believe if you want an omelet, you're going to have to get in the hole. Let's You've never been way. more uncomfortable getting an omelet. Yeah. Number four this week is Mari Hernandez, uh, What Remains at the Southwest School of Art. Uh, so this is going to be a show, it's, it's kind of, I almost feel like it's bookending her career as it is right now, because it's going to include some of the first self-portraits that she took, uh, a series called Soldadera, uh, from 2002, along with some works that uh, she just completed. And like her work has been addressing, you know, for many of her past series, these works are going to be uh, photographs. They're going to be, these are going to be printed on uh, fabric instead of like printed on paper and normal photographs. But at the same time, the imagery, uh, she's dealing with themes of identity. She's wearing prosthetics. She's using makeup to kind of manipulate her body. And their self-portraits, uh, done in a really interesting way that addresses issues that are a lot larger than the self. Number three this week is at the Blanton in Austin, and it's uh, Linka Clayton's The Distance I Can Be for My Son. Mm -hmm. So I actually saw these videos um, in uh, a show at Blue Star in San Antonio, and they're so amazing. If you can't make it to the Blanton, that's fine. These are on her website. Um, they're maybe a minute, a minute and a half each. There's three of them. And it's the artist standing behind a camera as her son, her probably two-year-old, three-year-old son yeah. runs away from her. Yeah. This um, little toddler they're... is getting further and further away in a grocery store, in a back alley. How long can she deal with, how far away can he get before she panics and the urgency kicks in and she's got to go after him and she she's recording the distance as well. They're funny. Uh, they they're feel so, very true. That's what I love about them. They're so simple and they're so smart. There's not fancy editing. There's not all this. It's a single shot of this kid running away and then her jetting out from behind the camera because she can't take it anymore. So number two this week is uh, a talk at in Fort Worth at the Amon Carter in conjunction with a show that's been up for a while since... Um, since October and will remain up through November, which is called Commanding Space Women Sculptors of Texas. The sculptors are, so all the sculptors will be here for this talk. Curator Shirley Reese Hughes will be in conversation with these five women Texas sculptors. It's Celia Everly, Kana Harada, Sharon Capriva, Sherry Owens, and Linda Ridgeway. Um, they'll be talking about the ways that they've taken sculpture in new directions. Um, in their own careers and in the 21st century. That is tonight, Thursday night, at the Amon Carter to go along with this fairly small capsule, very nice, small, quiet capsule show of Texas women sculptors. And number one this week is a show called Give Me Shelter at the Civic TV Laboratories in Houston. So this is kind of a cross-pollination between Houston and Dallas. It's members of the Civic TV Laboratories, I guess you'd call it a collective in Houston, and members of the old... I say old because Beef House recently closed, but of the Beef House Collective in Dallas. So it's, you know, Luke Harden, Nick Mathis, Adam Rico, H. Skank, and Terry Supreme. Um, this is going to be a really interesting show. Civic TV has had to move around quite a bit. It's had 
you know, it was on the east side and it's got pushed around a little bit. It's in a house right now on the north side. We've picked them in top fives before. Um, and I believe the work is going to be work that's collaborative between both of the collectives in both of the cities. So I don't quite know what that's going to look like, but these are good people making good art. So I think this show is going to be really good. And that is our list for the week. Uh, have a happy kickoff to your summer. And as you can tell, there's a lot of art to go see. So go see some art. Go see some art.